Before I start this video, I want to address something to everyone. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments um, in my videos. I mean, a lot. And I just want to say these one, no, three words, no, two words to everyone who's been commenting on my videos. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for commenting. I'm not hoping for like lots of subscribers or or subs or likes. Just hearing that you guys actually commenting and watch my videos is actually means a lot to me. I'm not doing it for like subs or anything. I'm doing it just for two re but three reasons. One, because I want to remember what games I play over the years. Two, it's mostly to help anyone who ever played any of those games I play to know what to do. And three, it keeps me busy. Now, with that said, let me begin this video as it is um, not that long a video. Now, before I, like, explain this, let me start with the basic. Before I heard there was a Smash announcement, I'm currently taking classes in college. It's not the actual college I go to, just a picture of a college. But, it was nice. I go there, like, Monday through Friday. There are classes that I need. And, um, don't need. It was fine. Well, it was until the coronavirus started. And then when I had to take all my classes online, it became, um, stressful. Very, very stressful. I only worked for Monday through Friday. Doing work, depending on how the workload is. Sometimes I have to stay up until 12 o'clock to finish my work. And then if I'm lucky, which I mostly am, on late on Friday through Sunday, I get to record my games. And right now, I'm currently playing Rune Factory 3, a game that I am actually close to finishing. And Dragon Quest XI, a game that I am not close to finishing. I mean, do you see how long each of those videos are for this game? It's going to take a while for me to finish this. Hopefully I can finish it before November. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, either way, I was kind of down. Because I've been... Doing nothing for work for the last, actually, ever since January, I did nothing but work. But then, luckily, but then, Super Smash Bros. finally got an announcement for the next DLC character. And honestly, I was excited. Because we haven't had a single news since Min Min was announced. But then... I was more like spectacle of it, mainly because I was having a current league full of bad luck, and I was down to two things. Number one, if Fortnite was actually the next DLC character, then I would just break my phone and uh, never speak of this again, because I'd be so disappointed. And number two, if Sora from Kingdom Hearts got into Smash, I will probably close my, turn off my phone and never play Smash ever again. And you don't know, I do not like Kingdom Hearts at all. It's a complicated story. Well, let's just say it took me a while to, um, and I trust a cover of a game ever again. 
I'll explain in like another video of why I don't like the series, but anyways, when I first saw it, I was skeptical of what characters are going to be in it. At first, I thought going to be like Impa based off the Legend of Zelda, no, not Legend of Zelda, Hyrule's Warriors, Age of Calamity. Like some kind of prequel to Breath of the Wild. But then I thought about it and realized that that would be a little bit too early. So maybe not. So my next guess would be Crash Bandicoot. You know, for the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. But in my yeah, I was mostly confident it would be Crash Bandicoot, but then I, and as the days went on, I realized that why would it be Crash Bandicoot just going to have a new game very soon? And this that game could be bad, which I'm glad it's not bad. It's not, but it could be a possibility that it could have been bad. Just so putting Crash and Smash will. That'd be good at that point. So, well, and it's not gonna be Crash. It's not gonna be Crash for this time. Maybe for the later DLC pack, but not this one. He's not gonna be revealed. He's not the character that's gonna be revealed this week. So, I thought even more Nintendo Rise. Bandana Wallaby, you know, based off the game, can be the fighters, no, can be fighters 2. It is way better than Kirby Fighters Deluxe, and 10 times better than Kirby Fighters. You know, because technically the gameplay style kind of reminds a lot of people of Kirby. 2D platforms, jumping, and even though, like, we know that, you know, that Wadi already has a spirit, Min Min has a spirit, but she got into Smash. And also, um, the only thing Kirby the Fighters actually taught me is that. There could be three more Kirby characters that could have been added to Smash, but they didn't. Just point that out. And my last guess for the DLC reveal will be any Mario character. Like at all. Gino, Captain Toad, Toadette, Funky Kong. Hammock, anyone. I didn't really care who it was. I thought it would be a Mario character, you know, based off the Mario 65 anniversary. I'd be kind of disappointed if it wasn't, if there wasn't a Mario character at all. And before I, before you say anything, uh, I summarize Mario characters as in, like, from the Super Mario franchise. Or Donkey Kong, Yoshi, or WarriorWare, because technically they are all connected. But instead of any of my guesses, we got this character, Steve from Minecraft. More specifically, Steve, Alex, Zombie, and Enderman from Minecraft. Another mine. Microsoft representative. Well, sort of. It's like Steve is more like. How can you put it? You know how, like, Sonic is a Sega representative? Along with Joker and Bayonetta? Well, it's more like Sonic was an actual Sega representative and Joker and. Bayonetta is something that Sega bought. It's the same with Banjo Theory and um, Steve. They're not actually made by Microsoft, they were just bought. But seeing him 
as the next Smash character would just... It just surprised me. It really did surprise me. Something that I never thought in a million years would happen. And you know, you know what I felt that day? I actually felt okay with all of this. No, really, I was just okay. I wasn't mad. Just okay. Don't get me wrong, Steve wasn't my number one choice of a Smash character. But, to be fair, he is not, he is not a series, or character, or a character from a franchise. Okay, he is not from, Steve is not from a franchise that I hate. But I played a little bit of Minecraft where I was in middle school. It took my time off, it took me, mm, no way. He, Minecraft was the type of game that helped me relax from stress from teachers and people, mostly people, not the work, just people, and what they say in school. It also helped me be a little bit more creative, like pixel art. You know, his moveset is a little bit... Overpowered. Good thing you can break things like Robin, but still, it's a little bit overpowered. But, in a way, it still made me happy to see Nintendo's actually being a little bit more creative. And even Sakurai said himself that making Steve was not an easy, ta easy task. You have, because basically he has to rework all the stages just for Steve. So in fact, I'm kind of happy that Steve is in Minecraft now. So, but that's still going to question. What about the other four characters that are supposed to release by next year? Who would it be? I don't know, but let's just say I'm just surprised, happy, and it kind of made my whole that week a lot better. But I just have to say one thing for end the video off. You guys remember how overpowered Meta Knight was in Brawl? And ever since that day, they haven't released like an actual brand new Kirby character for Smash. It's probably going to be the same situation as Steve. And once that game, once if Minecraft ever going to be in another Smash game, which I can't say for sure because it's, you know, Microsoft property, I can say that, um, it's going to be a good while. For Steve to, oh, Minecraft to ever get another representative because of how overpowered it is. Maybe, I don't know, Alex could be an Echo Fighter instead of costume, but still. No. No more. No more Minecraft characters for a while. Okay, that's it. I'm done. And you guys for watching this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I see you guys next time. Bye.